Hey everyone, it's Brandon with Hoku Marketing and today I want to do a quick tutorial for you to show you how to add a PDF image into your Shopify blog post. This is not a PDF link, this is a PDF image. So I ran across a lot of videos and tutorials that say, hey, this is how to upload a PDF. And although technically correct, I think what the majority of you want out there is how to upload a PDF image in line in your blog post. So that's what I wanna show you how to do today. Okay, so here we are in the Shopify admin screen and I'm looking at a blog post that I'm working on and I wanna put the PDF image right here in line and then write some text and do some other things. But let me show you how to put the PDF image right here so it shows in your blog post. So the first place you're gonna go is into the HTML editor section. So show HTML and you're, if you're unfamiliar with this, don't worry, I'm gonna provide everything that you need uh, to get this done right. So once you're in here, you're going to paste a piece of code. This code right here is down below in the description. You can copy it right from there and use it and you can drop it right in here. But I wanna tell you something about this code. Once you put it in, when you move back and forth back to the editor, it's going to change because it's reading it. So don't let that fluster you. I'm gonna show you how to enter the URL file for your PDF right in here so that you can get the image to show. What's important to notice here is that I've, I've written here, insert the full link for the URL, and it's right between these quotes here. So you'll notice this ends right before width and ends after this equal sign. So if I go back into editor, and then I go back to HTML, it's changed a few things in here. So it's important to remember, here's the first quotation and there's the last quotation before the word width. That's where we're gonna be inserting the URL for the file of the PDF we're going to upload. So I just wanna show you that first, uh, cause it gets kind of tricky. If you go back to the uh, front page, you'll see this gray section over here. Don't let that bother you. Let's go ahead and upload our PDF file to Shopify so that we can insert it. In order to do that, you go down here to settings, of course, you need to save your page with that code in there. Always make sure you save. Go down here to settings. Then we're gonna go here to files. And on the top right over here, we're, you click, go ahead and click upload files. Pick the PDF file that you want uploaded. Okay, so that's the one that I wanna upload. I've already done it, it's here. Okay, yours might take a couple of seconds and it'll upload and it'll show. And this section here is the URL. This is the file that we're going to insert in between the quotes of the code section on the blog post or the HTML section. So go ahead and highlight that, go ahead and copy it. Then go back to online store, go into blog post, open up that blog post that we're working on. And again, go back to show HTML. And you'll see in here, this is where things have changed. Now you'll also notice it's changed a little bit as well. Now the here is down below. So we wanna make sure we copy that URL all the way to the last quote. Okay, so let's highlight here to here. Okay, so we have this quote here available and this one here available. We're gonna drop that URL that we just copied right in there. So go ahead and paste that in there, okay? And if you want, you can go ahead and click save. That's gonna take you back to the editor the um, yeah, for your blog post. Now you're gonna see that image in there. So yeah, we're, we're almost there, it's, it's awesome. Um, let's go ahead and click view. And you'll see there is the PDF image in your blog post in line, but we're not quite done. You'll notice that this bottom part, the second page of the PDF appears to be cut off. Well, there's actually another scroll bar within the main screen scroll bar. So when you hover over the PDF, you can now move with, within that. 
I don't like that. I want the full image to show. So let me show you now how to adjust it so that we can get rid of this scroll bar and people don't get confused as far as what screen they're in and where they're scrolling. Uh, if you want to leave it like that, that's fine. I don't think that's just user friendly. So what we're going to do is come back to the blog post. We're going to go back to HTML and you'll see right in here height 1000 width 500. You can fiddle with these numbers and keep clicking view and see how it changes. I fiddled with it for a while and I know I need to change the height to 1350. So I'm going to change that now. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And you can see already the scroll bar that was in here is gone. But let's let's look at it under the view. And there it is. There's our PDF image in line in our blog post with no additional scroll bar. Okay. Um, that's it. That's all there is to it. You can put your text and your title. Uh, go in and, and type your, your blog just like you normally would. Put all your images in there. I hope that helps a lot of you out there avoid the frustration that I went to in trying to figure this out. But PDFs, they're a great way to convey a lot of information uh, to customers. There's a huge debate about the, out there about the SEO and you know not getting any of the SEO link juice. Yeah, it's a good point and you're right. But this video is just about how to upload a PDF image into your Shopify blog post. I hope that answers your questions. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. I hope to come out with some other little Shopify tips in the future. Thanks for watching.